Hey guys, good morning, or good afternoon, or even to you wherever you are in parts of the world. I have a Merck 2000 40 horsepower. It's a four stroke, and it is a Bigfoot. Um, kind of can't see the um, cowling, but it's been all, you know, camoed up. This is my duck boat, so love this boat. Waterfowl hunter. I use this thing in the winter, cold months, so. I had an issue with it uh, last fall. I had a lot of moisture inside my uh, valve cover and not so much in my oil dipstick, but it was definitely inside the valve cover when I checked my uh, valve lash and valve clearance. So that told me I'm getting water into my system somehow and did some research and come to find out that there is probably a uh, water tube uh, grommet that sits inside here at the base of the uh, power head that mounts to the midsection. So I knew I had to pull the power head off. I did this before. I got this motor out in Pennsylvania about two hours away, three hours away, I live in Delaware. And this thing was a wreck. It was leaning up against someone's house. They wanted like six, 700 bucks for it. And I was like, oh, I don't know. It was raining. I, I couldn't test it. The thing's a beast, it's very heavy. So I couldn't like just manhandle it, move it around and then do all my checks on it. I didn't have a remote starter, so I couldn't start it, couldn't get a compression. So I kind of like gambled. I'm like, all right, well, I'm all right with motors, so I'll take a chance. Bought the motor, brought it back. Um, had a compression issue. <laughs> I was reading like 50 or 60 on each cylinder. Um, it should be a lot higher than that. So come to find out, yep, the rings were just tired. The oil was old, so it just wore out. Uh, basically benched the whole power head, redid the valve seal, Rebuilt the motor, been running like a dream for the last three or four years. Last season, I fixed the water issue. While I had the unit off, I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna do all the seals in the lower unit, did that, and um, went to start it up, but I had no spark on number two. So I'm like, okay, and the spark was very weak. It wasn't like very strong. So I went through the whole motor diagnostics and everything, and you know, I went through, checked all the systems. This is the trigger, it's all white and the red. This is your stator. So this is where you check um, ohm's resistance between these two wires here. Um, definitely want to use one of these meters here. And I checked this over and um, I thought it was the ECM. So I went to look at this and it's no longer available, of course. And I unplugged the harness. I checked the inside here, resealed it, which you really don't want to do because they're throwaways. But anyway, I uh, just went through the motor and figure out it was my stator. So I'm going to have to take this uh, flywheel off, recheck the stators to make sure that it, that it is what it is, and then get a stator for it. So that will bring me back to uh, back to business here with um, ignition. Went through the coils, did an ohms check. Each coil's fine. So I knew it wasn't the coils. I don't think it's the ECM. 99% sure it's not because this failed. So we're going to do an ohms check here. Um, the spec is 325 to 350. I'm going to set it at 400. So I got continuity right there between the two leads. Now I'm gonna check for continuity on my stator. And that's gonna be, in the book it tells me, it's the green with white stripe and the white with the green stripe. So that's all right here. I'm just gonna basically touch these two leads together and we should see continuity. So I'm gonna come in here with this, green and white, white with green, vice versa. And we have them touching and I have nothing on the meter. So that tells me that the stator up under the flywheel is NFG. That is no freaking good. So that's how you test the stator to see if that's any good. So obviously this failed. I'm gonna have to take the stator off. I'm gonna recheck it again just to make sure that that is the issue and it wasn't the ECM that I originally thought. The, the trigger checked out okay, that's doing its job. So it looks like a stator plate for me, pretty easy. So anyway, I hope that helped as I walk through and um, yeah, you learned a little bit. That's kind of how I learned too. But um, anyway, send me a message if you have any questions. Take care.